All right, so I'm gonna do this video real quick and then I think this will be a good way of determining what I think the latest date is we can squeeze. And I really am not gonna think about anything else just because this is the most mathematical solution we can assume. And so if you look, AMC had a lot of bouncing um, as high as $14. And this is all like well after the January squeeze and it's hit as high as 14, comes back to 9, hits as high as 11, 50, 11, yeah, 11, 50, uh, 12, 70, well, so 11, 50 and then back to 9. And so I think this would be the, the best example. And I think us shooting up from 10% and squeezing the 220% in two days is proof that there was already pressure built and we were already in squeeze territory and then as they dilute or as they're diluting and dropping the price and shorting and all the different things that they do it comes back down and it comes back down and i don't think that we're really gonna like here's the thing so here's what i'm trying to suggest is we're definitely not going back down to 10 cents and if we're at the 12 cents now or a little bit above that, could we fall a little bit below 12 cents, maybe even 11? I guess it's possible. Is it going to happen? I don't think so. And so the only real question is, is it just going to squeeze? And are we actually like, is our 12 cents similar to $12 right here where it just goes? And like, if you look at the volume, it was super low volume right here. And then all of a sudden the volume goes way up the highest in the last four days and the price is up a lot and then it goes up again higher volume up again higher volume up again higher volume barely down a ton of volume up again higher volume and then up way up higher volume and then a lot of garbage and still lots of volume but that's where AMC started turning turning into garbage and so I mean, obviously, if we're right here, if like, because if you look, it ran up to $14 and then it's down to 12 and everyone's saying the same crap that we're saying about like you go look on Twitter and all the the bears and the, the bulls that like are saying they're scared or they're selling or whatever bull crap. Like we're seeing all that right now if you're watching. And the point is, is that we're seeing the low volume and we know it's about to pick up and we know that the price is about to pick up. And so the only question is, are we about to go from 12 cents to $14, like the, the 9 to 14, like this did, and then have a small dip over the course of a couple days and then explode? Or are we just going to explode? And so I could see this squeeze happening tomorrow and we're up 1,000%. Like whenever, like I just see a 1,000% day coming very, very soon. And so... The point is, if it does do a thousand percent, like I think it's going to keep going up after that, and it's going to be lots of money to earn, and a thousand percent will more than double, triple, quadruple. It don't matter. Um, yeah, and so we might be right about here, and if we were to, so we had the lowest volume right here, and yesterday we had the lowest volume, and then the volume picked up a little bit and the price still went down so if you look how many times did the price go down how many days in a row we got this day it went down one day in a row two days in a row three days in a row four days in a row five days in a row six days in a row seven days in a row eight days in a row eight days in a row before it started to go up. Now let's just look at the Mullen. I can't remember how many days in a row Mullen's been red. Let's just go back to, okay, so we got, I mean, I don't know if we should count a break even as a red, but I'm gonna. So we got one day two days, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 
11 days and if you just count from here it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 so if you don't count the first 3 repeating days that's wild stuff people that is wild 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 and if we go back one more time to AMC Um, I want to see how many green days in a row it was. So... We hit, where are we? Am I not on, oh, 12022. All righty, so we come here after the eighth straight red day, then it was one, two, three, four, Let's count this as a break even. So not a red or a green. Five, six green days in a row. So six of the seven days were green. And the one day that wasn't was basically a break even. And it bar like it only dropped $2 when the price was $26. And it probably wasn't for more than 10 minutes. Like, very interesting stuff. <sighs> So, if we are here, then potentially we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 more days until the squeeze. But that would also come with 100% gains almost. And, and, and I mean, with Mullen, it'd probably be two or 300% gains. And then a probably 20, 30% retraction. And then the squeeze. And so it's hard to say that the, like the squeeze on a day. Because like if they raise the price 300% and then bring it down 30%. And then we go up another 1,000%. Like even if you bought at the point that it went down at the 30%. Like you're still the sucker compared to the guy who bought today. Like, it's not even close. If you wait for us to go up 300% and then retrace back down to 25 cents and then you buy, well, everyone else bought at 12 cents. So if you make a million dollars, they made $2 million. Like, who the fuck are you? Like, why aren't you buying today? Oh, so weird. I just love the data. The data makes this easy.